Hey guys, today we're gonna be drawing a life cycle of a beautiful butterfly. This drawing is inspired by the new episode of Bluey called Slide. So the butterfly here starts out as an egg, just a itty bitty egg. Then it transforms into a caterpillar. The caterpillar. This is the one that we see on the episode of Bluey. When Bingo and her friend Lila are trying to save the bugs. So this caterpillar is going to be green. We're going to draw the little antennas here. A little eye, a mouth, and that's the caterpillar. From the caterpillar, it transforms into a pupa. And that is when the caterpillar hangs upside down, usually in a tree or a trunk. And inside this pupa, there's like a huge transformation. From the pupa, that comes out a butterfly. And the butterfly that we're gonna draw here, we're gonna need more space. We're gonna draw the exact butterfly that we see on the episode. Here, I'm gonna give her a big head, then its little body. Then we're gonna give this butterfly wings. Let's give this butterfly some legs as well. And now we're gonna give her some details here in the face. Like a little eye, antennas. and even a little mouth. Oh, let's not forget a little nose. Here we're gonna draw another circle. And now, I think we're ready to outline and color this whole thing.
now that you see this butterfly, she comes out of the pupa fully grown and then she's gonna lay some eggs. And her life cycle starts all over again. Now we're just going to erase some of these lines. My pencil lines are all gone. And now we're going to color. Well, I want to do some little lines here. And now we're going to color. First color, it's purple. This is for the big part of the wings. As you can see here, I'm using markers, but you can use crayons, or coloring pencils, Here, I want to color slowly so I can color inside the lines. Now, we're going to use a gray. And that's going to be for the head and the body. Let's not forget the little legs. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and follow along. Now I'm going to use a very light pink. That's going to be for the lighter color of the wings. And then for that middle part, I want to use a darker blue. Did I say green? This is a blue. Darker blue. The butterfly is done. Now this is gonna be for the caterpillar. I also wanna color the little eggs green. And for the caterpillar, we're gonna do a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, and a very light green. Blue. Now I want to use the darker blue. And now a very light green. Oh, this is perfect. It's just the color I wanted. In this, I'm going to use this color for the pupa as well. And the darker shade of green. And 
and that's it butterfly so let's talk about this again starts with the eggs caterpillar pupa butterfly the butterfly lays the eggs and this is the circle of life the butterfly's life cycle well guys thanks for watching my videos and see you next time